What's up, everybody? It is SM58 Day 5 slash 8. Get it? May 8th. Yeah. I'm Laura Davidson. It's Mario Ponce joining hey, me on up? the stream. All right. And we we have this whole iconic mic celebration. And today, though, is it's my personal favorite of the days because some of our mics, our iconic mics, get their own day all to themselves. And this day is no exception. It's 58 Day. Right Woohoo! Yeah. It's iconic. <laughs> yeah. So we're here to talk about that mic. Right, Mario? We are. And maybe a couple other microphones, too. Yeah, yeah maybe a couple, couple other. I mean, we can't leave anybody out. We well, love we're, all we're, of our microphones is, equally. It's 58 day, but we're in iconic mic month, too. So yes, this whole month yes. of May, we celebrate all of our iconic microphones. And we have four total. Um, so do. maybe we can just touch on real quickly each one of them but yeah focus on 58 yeah. for sure well, let's start with yesterday's because you know we didn't get to have this live stream yesterday that's true right so we got sm 57 kicking <laughs> us off <laughs> oh right. well we did cinco de mayo too oh we forgot about that we'll come back we'll, to we'll that come back minute. to that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly so the 57 is an iconic mic all on its own it's i've heard a lot of people tell me that it's the ultimate snare drum microphone like most folks swear by using the 57 in both studio and on stage for oh yeah snare yeah so 100 percent. it's the uh the mic that goes on everything like hot sauce i think i saw that in our <laughs> our social media story yesterday which i loved but if yeah. you don't own an sm57 you are you are seriously missing out it is a workhorse of a mic so we're start we're starting out 58 day talking about 57. <laughs> Don't be confused, everybody. We're gonna get to the star of the show, okay? But we're starting with the 57 yeah. because we don't want it to feel left out because it had its day yesterday and we didn't do a live stream for it. But that was Sunday, and that's the day of rest. Uh, and before that, we had the the 55, right? We did on Cinco de Mayo. I, I don't have a video of it. I've got a really cool picture of the 55. Yeah, there. this but, is. Yeah. This is like such a cool mic in terms of the feel of it as a singer and as a vocalist. This one's been very loved over the past lot of years, but it just, it's so fun to sing into this microphone and it's a whole look and a whole vibe, but the history behind it goes way, way back. So it's, it's not just a pretty, pretty microphone. It's one of our, it comes from our, our original design, the Unidyne, Unidyne one. And then we've since changed it in this yeah. particular casing and capacity but it goes way back you actually yeah the 58 yeah. actually the acoustic design of the 58 is actually born <laughs> yes. out of that microphone so it is it shares characteristics that's how we all work it. so yeah yes it does that was five okay five, so that was 55 five, yep and five seven yep i don't think there's a specific day for the next one but we <laughs> yeah. can show it because we call it the mic that you've already heard and oh, yeah. the SM7B, it is uh, a microphone for any situation, but it was born out of the broadcast world and has been in our inventory for a while now. And uh, yes. an amazing microphone for everything. You've seen it on YouTube. You've seen it in podcasts. Uh, really big in the streaming community and the gaming community. Um, but this is another microphone that we um, added to our iconic mic month so yes some great things coming too f with the um sm7b so excited no, about yeah. all that stuff sm7b is just it's just the coolest it's the hero of of broadcasting and podcasting as mario said and it it has also evolved throughout the years and that's what's a really cool about working for sure we've been around for 98 years right 98 years we this have year. We just celebrated our anniversary uh, in April. And, you know, the, it's just really exciting because you have these microphones that were designed in the 30s, 40s that have now come with the times and been modified, changed, still sticking with that original greatness, though, you know, not getting too far away from it, remembering where we came from, why we did something that way and making it better. And the SM7B is a great example of that because it was not called the SM7B when it launched. Um, so, you know, that's how we that's how we roll. We like to uh, like to change things up. But again, it's 58 day. We are we are leaving out it the is. star. 
So let's take a look at the the star. The SM58. That is today. So I like to say if you've ever been to a live performance, you've ever performed, you've ever done a presentation, you have probably used an SM58 or have heard one or experienced one. It is the industry standard. Um, It is an iconic mic. And um, yeah, I mean, if you've ever been to a live performance, chances are that microphone was a 58. Um, Yes. Every rehearsal studio I've ever been to in my short musical career has, (laughs) uh, I have come across many, many, many SM58s in different conditions, actually. Um, Oh, yes. Very iconic uh, microphone and super excited to be able to celebrate it and dedicate a whole day to it. So, yes. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. Interesting too, like the the history of this microphone and the reasoning behind using one versus the other, or the fact that you said you've seen them in varying conditions. That's a really good point about the 58. So we should probably talk about um, the things that you know about the mic, but let's talk about the things that you may not know, because Mario's got 10 things you might not. But real quick, this windscreen is there for several reasons. One, it's going to help you, um, you know, not have as many plosives. And it's also going to act as a crumple zone. So if you've seen a 58 that has had dents Mm. in it, like Henry (laughs) Rollins, who actually customized his by Mm -hmm. putting his fingerprints and thumbprints into it, it's actually designed that way to crumple and not damage the diaphragm beneath it. And so that's that's kind of a cool, unique feature. So why don't you tell them the first thing about the 57 and the 58, that that kind of unknown thing or cool thing, little piece of knowledge. Yeah. So, uh, well, we have. Do you want to get into this here? This is the 10 things. The 10 um, things we that love you might about not you. know, and the, the whole 57, 58 thing is included in here. It's a little further yes. down the list. Um, but the SM stands for studio microphone. Um, it was actually part of the broadcast world back in the 1968 is when I think it, 19, and uh, it soon was adopted for performance. Um, but the other interesting fact is that in 1970, it faced extinction or discontinuation. Mm-hmm. And if it wasn't for a savvy national sales manager who had the crazy idea to take a bunch of these mics to Vegas and let all the performers use it in Vegas, it kind of breathed life back into the product. And um, the rest is history. So, uh, but right. to- 1966 66. for the release of the 58. Yeah. Yes. So yes. the the thing that you were talking about with the 57 and 58, I get this question all the time. If you were to take off the grill of a 58, you essentially get a 57. So here, I'll mm-hmm. put them side by side. There you get, go. There you go. Because they so, are the same capsule. That's right. the important part. The internal workings of this microphone are the same. Uh, but... The 57 came first in 1965, and the 58 came out a year later. Uh, And one, yeah, was more suited towards higher SPLs, guitar cabinets, drums. Yeah. But a lot of people use 57 for vocals and then created the 58. Yeah. A year later. Yes. Yeah. Um, And speaking of being able to withstand um, high levels, um, it, it could actually withstand more than what's safe for your ears, which is mm-hmm. crazy. So, um, <laughs> and then in 2012, we took it to outer space. Um, it was actually used in the International Space Station by six astronauts. They were using it to do an interview. Um, so it went to space. Um, the great thing about that was our engineers were able to see how it behaved in zero gravity because we can't reproduce it here on Earth or our engineers couldn't. So um, they got kind of a peek into how that microphone acted and sounded in zero gravity. And of course, it sounded great. Um, And then the guy behind uh, the SM58, Ernie Seeler, um, was not a fan of rock and roll, which I think is very interesting. I love that one. It is, yeah. (laughs) Because it is ubiquitous. Yeah, right. It is the rock and roll microphone or Mm -hmm. rock and roll SM58. They go hand in hand, so. They do. They really do. Um, it's durable, indestructible, practically. Um, and again, uh, Henry Rollins putting his thumb in, in the grill is a good example <laughs> yep. of that. 
Um, and then uh, it's actually the number one capsule for our wireless microphones. Um, mm -hmm. And I have a wireless mic here. This is from the GLXD Plus Dual Band, the new wireless that we just released. But this is um, the transmitter here is an SM58. So the SM58 is still the number one capsule for our wireless system, yeah. which is most popular capsule. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so the SM58, I kind of touched on it briefly. The, the reason why it was designed was to make a vocal specific version of that Unidyne capsule. Uh, so we had the 57, which had a lower profile, was better for instruments. You couldn't whack it as easily as, as you know the ball mm -hmm. grill in this. But this mm -hmm. is designed for uh, vocal applications because it has that pop filter built in, integrated. Um, so you have that crumple zone again as well that also blocks the diaphragm and keeps it safe. And you have one more layer of pop filtering. Can you, can you hold up the one where you took the grill off? Yeah. That foam piece that is at the top. Flip it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's another layer of plosive filtering. Plosives are those popping sounds you get when air pops the diaphragm. So it's kind of fun. Oh, wow. We've got, we've got a, a comment on here from Mike Joyce. He said the SM57 came before the 58, and he knows or he knows of Ernie Sealer. He said, Ernie mm. was upset with Janis Joplin using the 58. Speakers were going into distortion, and she said, to turn it up louder. <laughs> well, you know, I might have had to disagree with Ernie. I know that's blasphemy and, and sure, but Janis. Oh, right. Janice. Love that's great. Janice. I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing that story, yeah. Mike. We'll have to see. We'll have to um, confirm that with our company historian. We have a company historian here at Shore because we've been around for so long, uh, Michael Pedersen, who is a genius and knows all of the things about Shore and its legendary history. So um, we are hoping to have him on one of these live streams soon, which we do one of these uh, every month. Mario and I get on here and talk about fun things, whether it's a new product or an exciting promotion that we're doing. Like, by the way, for SM58, we are giving away a limited edition oh, SM58 yeah. on shore.com right now. So if you check this link out, which I will post in the chat, you can go ahead and enter to win your very own. This is US only, so apologies for that. Uh, but if you want to enter to win, that link is actually in the description of the video, and I will put it in the chat as well. So go ahead and enter for that because you can win that custom mic that you see right there. Oh, let me go back to it so you can see it. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right. And it is, so just something cool to say though, it's customized like that by a company called Colorware. So if you have a 58 and you're wanting to customize it, you can go to colorware.com and check out all of the options. So this is just the one that we made for 58 day, but you can actually choose your own and, and get all fun with it and make it shiny or sparkly or matte finished or whatever you want. Um, so definitely check that out and I'll put that in the chat as yeah. well. In Colorware, you can actually um, do some other pro uh, sure products as well. They don't just do 58, they do other microphones. The MV7 is another one mm -hmm. that you can customize. Um, so it's really cool, check it out. I love colorware. Oh, what's up? James is here as well. James Hicks oh. joined us and he so says James. loves the shore lineup. It's so great to have you on the stream, James. Nice, James. Yes. Awesome. And deal casters. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> love it. Of course. Yes, 58 the OG day. podcast, Mike. Yes. Right on. Yes. Cool. Oh, that's so great to have you guys here. Nice. Um, I said I would put colorware in the chat. I will do that. Cool. I, uh, I think there's a couple uh, more facts here that I want to close out. And I think we mentioned oh, sorry, the yes. internal acoustic design of the 58 is traced back to the 55 and back in 1939. So they share That's similar, that one. right? That's big. Yeah. That one, right? <laughs> here. I can't see it. <laughs> I'll, give you, uh, I'll give you the screen. Now you can point it. Oh, there we go. There you go. That one. That one right there. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Those and, and those the, were sorry. I'm jumping all uh, over the place no, today. But the, the Unidyne, the Unidyne capsule was actually designed as PA's got bigger and venues got bigger, and singers and instrumentalists needed to be heard above these large orchestras or what have you. And so, without having feedback, and so we created this Unidyne capsule, which allowed sound to be 
taken into the mic and rejected from the rear so that what was in front of it would be heard and would block out other sounds coming in. So you wouldn't be prone to feedback and you would have a much better chance of being amplified without distorting and being able to be heard. So that's why we, we started that whole process. Yeah. Sorry, back to the facts. My bad. Oh, there, I'll be over I here. I think there's <laughs> only one more fact. And of course, a variety of artists have made it in, uh, an icon. So you name yes, it, they they've have. used it. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. It is, it is the indestructible mic that we take on every gig and every venue has several typically. Uh -huh. um, and that speaks to the, the legendary uh, build standard that we have and quality standard that we have at shore. So everything that we make is made to military spec, meaning that it has to be military grade acceptable by the military so that it could actually uh, be used by the military, which it was back in World War II. Fun story there. Um, so it's still made that way. That's why it is so durable. We've all done things that we probably shouldn't do, like, you know, maybe like hammer things in or mm -hmm. drop it or spin it. And it's still alive. The Paul Duncan is here. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am feeling very, very honored right now. We have, we have some really cool peeps on this uh, live stream, Mario. Nice. Awesome. I don't know how I'm, are we ready for all this? Yes, we yeah. are. It's great to have you here. Definitely. One thing I don't know if we mentioned that it's a dynamic microphone. It is. Um, which is great for live performances um, because it's less sensitive uh, to sound um, as opposed to a condenser mic, which uses phantom power, which is um, generally designed for studios and using, or it provides more detail and sound. Um, but mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to talk about the characteristics of dynamic and. I do. Absolutely. I, mean, uh, I could switch over to this real quick. You could. Yeah, perfect. So this is a, a little side shot of the internal workings of our Unidyne capsule. So for the 57 and 58 specifically in this example. So the way that these dynamic microphones work is you can see that you have a magnet and this moving coil that's attached to your diaphragm. And when you talk or sing into it, it vibrates the diaphragm and that's how it's picking up that physical energy. So when it vibrates, it makes that coil vibrate around the magnetic, the magnet, therefore creating a magnetic field, an electromagnetic field, which converts acoustic energy to an electrical signal, goes down the wirings of the mic into your PA and is amplified. So that's how that works. But like Mario was saying, it's not quite as sensitive as a condenser mic because it takes a little bit more physical energy to make that work. So to make it physically move the wire, not a lot. I mean, when I say that, I feel like people are like picturing a microphone, like it's not, it's just because of that, that's why it can handle more SPL, sound pressure level, uh, because it takes a little bit more physical energy to move the diaphragm move and the move diaphragm, it around that right. magnet. Yeah, yeah. So. so that's why it's it's really good for louder applications and also better at blocking other things from going into the mic but that's also based on the polar pattern those are two different things a lot of people are like oh yeah i've got a cardioid mic sweet what kind of microphone is it <laughs> is it a dynamic cardioid mic because cardioid is the pickup pattern of the sm58 which is like a little heart shaped hence cardio cardioid um, and that's how it picks up from the front of the mic and rejects what's coming in from the back. Yeah, a lot of folks too use um, dynamic mics for streaming, um, live streaming, mm -hmm. um, because of the fact that it's not gonna be too sensitive and pick up everything that is happening around you. So for this yes. stream, I'm using MV7, which is a dynamic microphone and it's going directly to my laptop. Yeah. <laughs> and Me so it's too. zeroing in on our voice and it's dynamic in nature. So it's not going to, um, it could take uh, louder sounds, but it's not going to um, pick up everything that's happening all around us. So it's good for streaming, good for podcasting and that kind of application as well. So, yes, for those of you broadcasting or live streaming in imperfect rooms, like Mario and I are sitting in yes. right now. Yes, it blocks out reflections and it blocks out dogs barking and mm -hmm. the lawnmower. My neighbor had, uh, right before we were going live, my neighbor started mowing the lawn, no joke. But you can't hear him because of voice isolation technology in the MV7. 
So we alluded to Iconic Mike Celebration, which is going on throughout this entire month. And there's actually a page dedicated to it on Shore.com. If you actually go to Shore.com, the homepage has a link to it so that you can check out all of the cool stories behind those microphones and learn a little bit more. And we have that um, giveaway that we're doing. And we also have some cool promos coming up in the U.S. only, so stay tuned for that. Uh, don't want to mention those for those of you who are outside of the country who would get sore at us for that. But um, just go to the um, shore.com slash iconic hyphen mics, and you can check it all out and yeah. join the lineup that's legendary and see why you should. If you haven't already, tell us your stories in the chat, though. Totally. We're just chitty, chitty, chat, chat, and let's hear your yeah. stories. And I want to know really, about your favorite you one. If you're really into the SM58, why not pick up a pair of SM58 oh, socks? Nice. Nice. These socks are I amazing do have because them. 58 reasons to love the SM58 socks. Yes. So yes, you have, have some. Right I do. I'm not wearing them. I, I should have put them on. But I just I love them. And yeah, we did this a couple of years ago for SM58 Day. 58 reasons why people love the SM58. And some of them are funny, like iconic ice cream cone shape or um listens to me vent and has been to the international <laughs> space station yes. i don't know why one of them says fits under a pillow hmm. <laughs> not sure i well, wouldn't want to do that it'd be kind of a lumpy experience interesting that's yes yeah, so those are the socks but we also have the we have, um oh we do guy, right? yes the bottle opener <laughs> this was very popular at nam the bottle yes opener. yes it's very cool because it has magnets on it so you can just throw it on the fridge and be ready at any time and uh, it's very cool and very hefty so yeah. these are on shore.com if you're looking for that perfect gift for the person who has everything including several 58s then uh, we got you covered or you can get this awesome shirt that i'm oh, wearing yeah, too, the right? shirt. i was gonna say Ooh. what about the shirt you're wearing yeah yeah it's a champion shirt it is uh it's very swanky i feel very fancy champion was like the, the brand when i was younger and now it's coming back it's had its resurgence um i'm getting socks though i don't have those you're socks getting yet. socks oh sorry i'm gonna get them. i have failed you <laughs> james says that deal casters and james they got to get them socks that's yeah. what he said <laughs> And Mike also called out that uh, unidirectional mics are good for proximity effect as well. Um, they can be prone to it, actually. But um, one of our microphones called the KSM-8 actually virtually eliminates proximity effect. But yes, mm. they are somewhat better at that. But what proximity effect is, is as you get closer to your microphone, you get a buildup of low frequencies, which can be fatiguing. So... That's why we have our mic technique the way that we do. And you'll also notice that I'm not talking directly into the microphone. I'm talking off to the side, which uh, reduces plosives. Instead of being right on it, p p plosives, I can pop to my heart's content over mm -hmm. here and not have them. So a little fun mic technique. And that works with the uh, SM58 as well. Yeah. So there. <laughs> nice. I'm not seeing anyone share their stories. I, I know you all have an SM58 story that you are dying to tell mm -hmm. maybe it's not fit for you too but uh yeah <laughs> it's, <laughs> um it's it is rock and roll so those stories could be crazy <laughs> that's true that's very true like the national sales manager who brought it to vegas yeah to uh breathe it breathe new life into it giving it to all the vegas performers i'm sure there are many stories that came of that oh, yeah. venture mm-hmm Definitely. So Iconic Mike Celebration, we have that going on. Win your own limited edition, 58. And then also join in the celebration on social media. We're doing all kinds of stuff. So if you want to chime in, if you tag, sure, maybe we'll share it. Mike yeah. Joyce says he has a story. Mike, well, you should tell us oh, your story Mike, here yes. or you should tell it on Instagram and tag, sure, if it's suitable for that audience. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's not, no. <laughs> Love and Damon, who joined the stream, said, I just got done setting up a bunch of SM58s in my job today. I told my boss it's SM58 day. Nice. Nicely done. Good job, Damon. Right on. That's rad. Yeah. That's totally sweet. Cool. We all have nice. stories like that. 
Awesome. Do you have a story, Laura? An SM58 story? Well, I actually, I have a Beta 58 story. So oh. yeah, this is my, my Beta 58 that I had for many, have had for many years. And when I was living in Nashville, so just so people know, this is a super cardioid version of the SM58 um, with some design changes. It has a hardened anodized grill. So it doesn't have that crumple zone because <laughs> it's not going <laughs> to dent. Uh, and it's that super cardioid pickup and has a little bit of boost in the high end. So it's got a little bit more brightness to it. Um, anyway, when I was living in Nashville and I was a starving musician, uh, a friend of mine gave me a Beta 58. And I had no idea how cool of a gesture that was because I was using some like off-brand mic that I had bought while I was in college. And this was my go-to mic for many, many years. Um, and now uh, this one is mine, the SM86, Ooh. which is a stage condenser mic. Um, so you can use that condenser mic that has the the details and nuances that a condenser captures. Um, and it sounds fantastic and light and airy on my voice in particular. But everybody's got to find their own flavor. So try the microphones yeah. and find the right one for you. You're a vocalist. The microphone is your instrument. It is oh. your axe. I it like is. To say. So it's your axe. Everyone has a different I, yes. vocal, have a, has a different voice. So it's just like a guitar player. They love their favorite guitar because they love the tone. Microphones act in the same way, I think. So 100%. very important. Yeah. And you wouldn't just go, I'd say this all the time, you wouldn't just go to a store as an instrumentalist and pick something up off the wall or whatever and just say, yeah, this one looks good and mm. leave. If you do that, you're doing it wrong. You got to play it, right? right? And as vocalists, we don't often have that luxury. We might feel a little shy to try it out, but you've got to because until yeah. you feel that microphone work with you instead of against you, it's it's its job is to work with you. And when you find a microphone that does, it's a really big moment. It's a game changer. Like when I yeah. found the SM86, thanks to a fellow colleague at Shore, which it turns out Mike Joyce is a former Shore employee. 41 mm. years he was with us. Whoa. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Awesome. And he said, uh, so he said that they were doing a testing, a test in the Anaco chamber, which Shore okay. has a couple of those, yeah. and they are very cool. And and it says an inspector testing an SM58 accidentally crushed a microphone. And Delphine Dennis was the inspector. And I told her it had to be dead. She said, no, it would work. I retested it. And she was right. It worked and met all specifications. Wow. And that grill was perfectly flat, it says. <laughs> so uh, that is definitely a story. Well, yes. hey, Mike. I, nice. you know, I'm... 41 years we hear that a lot we're newbies we we're five years in yeah so uh a lot of don't judge at at, <laughs> at shore for sure yes um, yeah it's a great place to be and a great place to work so if you're looking for a gig you should go to shore.com careers because we're always looking to bring new people into this incredible environment that we work at and all are welcome we love having just a super diverse workplace and it's just a place where I don't know about you, Mario, but I just feel mm. like I'm heard. My ideas are heard. Yeah. We've got a great family of people that we work with. So yeah, love this uh, gig. I do too. It's, um, I got a seat at the table, I guess is the best uh, way to describe it. The way I describe it is that your voice is heard, your ideas are heard. Um, you know, nothing is off the table. And uh, it, that's what I love about you know, about this is that, and about the company is that encourages that type of activity, creativity, all that great stuff. So yes. it is definitely an amazing place to work for. And uh, yeah. Awesome. And Mario yeah. just hit his five years. So yay, Mario, congrats on that. We do a cool pinning ceremony at Shore. And so we always try and sneak attack the person who's getting pinned. <laughs> so did that for you at NAM. Um, yes. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place to be. So, all right. Awesome. So we should wrap it up here. We've got some great comments in here. I appreciate everybody tuning in and learning a little bit more about the SM58. Hopefully you learned something you didn't already know. Although, Mike, I think you probably uh, knew all the things, but we appreciate <laughs> you joining in any case. Um, and so, yeah, 
I, do you have anything else, Mario, that you want to end, uh, add? Uh, I don't. Um, my, just, I guess real quick, my SM58 moment. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. Was, what was it? I was at a rehearsal studio back in the 90s, so the grunge era. Oh, and gosh, I had hair, right. like, you know, like super long, if you could yes. imagine that. And uh, there was a microphone that was, the, the grill was completely crushed in. And they had been using it as an ashtray. <laughs> um, and it still sounded amazing. Um and so How every time I see a, to it though, that's oh, that's every nasty. time I see a fifty-eight, I it's the first thing I think of was that microphone in that rehearsal studio, down and dirty, <laughs> I love it. rock and roll. So there you that's go. That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, your story beats mine. I don't have a cool story like that. There's no well. There's no you're. We're, it's a story. We got great stories. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's true. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Tune in again next month. We will post a link and you'll find out, but you can always look at shore.com slash live stream to know what's coming up next. Um, if you have any other stories, feel free to share them on Insta or on Facebook or on Twitter and make sure you tag at shore so that we can see it on our end and hopefully repost it for you. I know you've got stories, share them. Yeah. It's iconic Mike celebration all month. So join in on the fun, enter to win that giveaway. It's in the description. It's also in the chat. And have a great rest of your yeah. day, everybody. Happy 58 right. day. Happy 58 day. Thank you. Thanks.